leprechaun, shamrock, feast, celebration, green everywhere. Can you guess what I am talking about? Yes, you are right. I am talking about St. Patrick's Day. What is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is the feast day of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland and a day of celebration for Irish people. Traditionally, the day is celebrated as a religious holiday by the Catholic Church. It is a very Irish festival and it involves a lot of feasting and celebrations, which includes traditional Irish music, drinking beer and eating bacon and cabbage. Another tradition is one has to wear green clothing. This day is now celebrated all around the world. Anyone can join in the celebration. When is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on 17th of March every year. Who was St. Patrick? St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland. He was born in a village in Roman Britain. When he was about 16 years old, he was captured by Irish pirates. They took him from his home in Britain and sold him as a slave in Ireland. His work was to take care of animals. He lived there for six years and learned the local language. He then escaped and returned to his family. After becoming a cleric, he returned to Northern and Western Ireland as a missionary. He brought Christianity to Ireland in 5th century. He converted many pagans to Christianity. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated every year on March 17 in his honor. St. Patrick's Day Interesting and Fun Facts St. Patrick and the Snakes there are no snakes in Ireland, but there is a legend that at the time of St. Patrick, there were lots of snakes and he chased them all into the sea. Some say that this legend came to be because pagans had tattoos of snakes and St. Patrick got rid of the pagans by teaching Christianity and therefore drove out the snakes from Ireland. Countries celebrate St. Patrick's Day Along with Ireland, it is also widely celebrated in the United Kingdom, Canada, United States, Brazil, Argentina, Australia and New Zealand. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in more countries than any other national festival. It was named the friendliest day of the year by the Guinness Book of World Records. United States St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in the United States where it was brought by Irish American immigrants. The first St. Patrick's Day celebrated in New York City was held at the Crown and Thistle Tavern in 1756. Since then, the New York celebration has become the largest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world. The first St. Patrick's Day parade in the world took place in New York City on March 17, 1762 when Irish soldiers serving in the British military marched through the city. Wow, that time United States of America was not even a country. Ireland Since the year 1996, the celebrations have been extended to a week-long event called St. Patrick's Festival, encompassing a spectacular fireworks display, open-air music, street theatre and the traditional parade. Canada in Canada, St. Patrick's Day is an official holiday in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. The longest-running St. Patrick's Day parade in Canada takes place each year in Montreal, where the parade began in 1824. Great Britain In Great Britain, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, used to present bowls of shamrock flown over from Ireland to members of the Irish Guards, a regiment in the British Army. The Irish Guards still wear shamrock on this day, flown in from Ireland. Going Green Green is the color for St. Patrick's Day as it is the national color of Ireland and people often wear green on that day or have some type of shamrock on their clothing. A shamrock is a three-leaf clover and is the national flower of Ireland. Each leaf of the shamrock represents one part of the Holy Trinity the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But blue was the color associated with St. Patrick. In 18th century, because of the Samrak's popularity and Ireland's landscape, the color green became officially associated with the day. Green is the beautiful color of springtime and is very much so connected with thoughts of hope and good things to come.
People not only wear green but they dye their food green. People eat all sorts of green foods such as green hot dogs, green cookies, green bread and green drinks. Since 1962, the Chicago River is dyed green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. The fountain in front of the White House is sometimes dyed green in honor of the day. Most people, even non-Irish, wear green on this day. An Irish tradition is to pinch anyone who is not wearing green. Other names for the holiday include St. Paddy's Day and St. Patty's Day. Beer is one of the most widely consumed beverage on St. Patrick's Day. Corn, beef, cabbage and green beer are traditional fare. The Tale of the Leprechauns Leprechauns are actually one reason you are supposed to wear green on St. Patrick's Day or risk getting pinched. The tradition says that the wearing green makes you invisible to leprechauns which like to pinch anyone they can see. The leprechauns is said to be a mythical creature from Irish folklore. They are typically described as short red-haired fairies dressed entirely in green suits. Legend has it that if captured by a human, they often grant three wishes in exchange for their freedom. But be aware not to get tricked into asking for a fourth or else you will lose them all. Get to the end of the rainbow and there is where you will find your leprechaun protecting its pot of gold. That's all friends. Happy St. Patrick's Day everyone!